actually knows her subject. F1 speech. What's the purpose of an F1? In the old days, it used to be called an icebreaker. It's now called the introductory speech. It actually gets the person up in front of the podium to address the room, members. And it gives the person a chance to give their speech so we can uh, sort of assess as a group where this speaker is from and, and talk about a subject she's very familiar with. You can tell by the way she spoke that she's spoken in front of other people before. She's confident in what she spoke about. I still have a question. Of what's the difference between AI and chat GPT or GPT, what it is? Yeah. So chat GPT is just a one segment of artificial intelligence which generated AI, which um, which makes use of the natural language mm -hmm. and builds on top of that. Okay. Whereas AI is too broad, it's not just chat GPT. Mm -hmm. um, mostly people use AI for big technologies like machine learning mm -hmm. um, and so on. So okay. yeah, that's the thing mm -hmm. I wanted to... Okay, that was just a little confusing part because I know what AI is and everyone knows, but I'm not sure what the chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Yeah, yeah. Chat GPT. I actually assumed that everybody knew about AI when Chat GPT mm -hmm. came up. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I assumed. I've heard of it. Didn't know what it was exactly, but there we go. Yeah. yeah. So, that's a good. Even though I'm a little techie guy, I think even though I'm a little ignorant on some things. But anyway, this speaker has a clear voice. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. She has a very clear voice. So she's definitely going to continue on giving more speeches because, I mean, there was no question about her enunciating and pronouncing all the words in her speech. That was no problem at all. Very good. That was a topic. Another interesting aspect about this particular speaker is she kept making eye contact with everyone. It's called the lighthouse looking around the room. So she actually engaged everybody. Which is, all, which is a plus mark, definitely a plus. You know, what do you want to do? Why are you up here? You want to engage people. So how do you really engage besides the verbal? Is looking at the individual person. You actually suck them into your speech. You make them part of your speech is what you're doing by making eye contact. And this speaker did that. Very good. Yes, speech was three minutes, 54 seconds. She said around four minutes, which was fine. Uh, you know, she had some few gestures, uh, depending upon the topic, of course, you, can, you can't go raise your hands unless it's something really out of this world. But she had a few gestures, which is good. I would say you, you, had a, you gave a very good F1 introductory speech, thoroughly enjoyed it, and uh, we're definitely going to look forward to you progressing through the ladders. But with every speech, there is some learning points. And there are just a few that we would like to pass on to you. One is, I know you had a lot of information and you condensed quite a bit in 3 minutes and 54 seconds. Well, a learning point might be, instead of pushing out all the information, you can still use the same amount of information, but talk a little bit slower and you can actually extend your speech that much more. Okay. By speaking a little bit slower, we say, in, the, in the club we say pitch, pause, and pace. Pause is a very important element of any speaker because when you give a lot of information, sometimes it's worthwhile pausing so they can absorb it. So that's just a learning point, but that's a minor point. But on the whole, I would say she passed her F1 and I hope to see you again and looking forward to seeing you in September. Mm -hmm.